My name is Zach Cagle. I'm the marketing product specialist for mid-range and high horsepower tractors. And today I want to show you around the Massey Ferguson 7700 S-Series small frame. The small frame consists of three models, a 7715 at 150 engine horsepower, a 7716 at 160 engine horsepower, and a 7718 at 180 engine horsepower. These tractors come with a 6.6 .6 liter, six cylinder Agco power engine, and they meet tier four final requirements with the use of a SCR system using DEF fluid and also a DOC or diesel oxidation catalyst. There are two transmission options on this series of tractors. The Dyna 6, which is a 24 by 24 speed power shift transmission, and also our Dyna VT transmission, which is a CVT, continuously variable transmission. Both have their advantages. The 24 speed offers a well-balanced range of gears, while the Dyna VT transmission offers you the ability to get to that perfect speed at any point when you're working. We have two front axle options for the 7700 S series, a non-suspended front axle and also a suspended front axle. The suspended front axle is going to give you a much better ride in the field, while the non-suspended front axle will offer you a little bit on the cost saving side. The advantage of a suspended front axle is obviously the ride, but also the fact that you have the option to go to a 31 mile per hour uh, transport speed at that point. With the non-suspended front axle, you're limited to 25 miles per hour when roading. The 6.6 .6 liter Agco power engine features easy service points. One piece hood pivots out of the way. We have our air filter here, which can easily be accessed just by popping this cover off here. We have easy access to the air filter to blow that out each day, depending on our, our environment and how dusty our our area is, we can just pop that out there. Simply pop it back in. The radiator stack on the 7700S series offers plenty of room to get an air one in to service and clean out our radiator from dust and chaff. 6.6 .6 liter Agco power. The engine oil can be checked very easily right here on the side of the engine. Easy access, no shields or anything preventing us from getting to the dipstick. For those in extremely cold conditions, we do offer an optional engine block heater. Simply plug that in to your outlet, the tractor will stay warm. Optional on the 7700S series are the standard width pivoting front fenders or the wide width pivoting front fenders. The wide width work well in really muddy conditions. They'll overlap a little bit further on the tires, preventing those heavy mud clods from coming up on your window or your fuel tank. Standard feature on the 7700S series is a removable toolbox. Simply unlock it. You can pull it out, take it where you need to go. Optional on the 7700S series is a factory installed front loader with an electric joystick or a mechanical multifunction joystick. The 7700S series can be equipped with a long bar axle shown here or a short bar axle as well, depending on uh, your application. We can also equip the long bar with duals if that's what you prefer. At the fender of the tractor, you'll find three options. You can control the PTO here you can control one of the rear remotes, and you can also control your three-point leakage here, raise and lower. These are really handy when hooking and unhooking implements, and also if we want to start or stop the PTO on, say, a grain auger or something of that nature. At the rear of the tractor, you'll notice that we have four valves here. On the 7700S series, you have an option for four or five. Also, you'll notice these decompression levers. This makes unhooking a line that's under pressure very easy. We simply just push forward, pull the valve out, push it back in to hook it up. And we also have dust covers here to keep the dust out of our couplers. You'll also notice power beyond and free flow return on our hydraulic system. We have two options for the 7700S series. Standard is 29 gallons per minute closed center load sensing system, and optional is a 50 gallon per minute closed center load sensing system as well. 7700S series comes with a 540 
and 1000 RPM shaft to power any implement. Very comfy ride in the cab of the 7700S series. Let me show you why. We've got two mechanical cab suspension units at the back of the tractor with two bushings at the front of the tractor to absorb all of the shock of a rough field or roading down a rough road. Trust me, a long day on a bumpy field, there's no doubt you'll appreciate this feature on the tractor. At the rear of the tractor, you'll notice four work lights, two mounted on the top of the cab, two fender mounted, and then at the front of the tractor, you'll notice four mounted on the top of the cab with two mid-mount work lights. Also optional on these tractors is an LED work package. You'll really appreciate these if you plan on working your tractor at night. It really helps with visibility. Let me show you the cab of the 7700S series and all the features that make your workday a much more comfortable experience. First, I'll start off with the steering wheel. We have tilt and telescoping steering, so you can get to that perfect position so you're comfortable for a long work day. Next, you'll notice the familiar power control lever that's present on all of our Massey Ferguson S and Global Series tractors. We can simply go forward, go reverse, and also on the Dyna 6 and Dyna VT transmissions, we can change our gears or speed here by simply pushing up or pulling back within a direction. Let me tell you a little bit about the Precision Ag on this tractor. In today's agricultural world, precision technology is a necessity and not a want. The 7700S series can offer everything that you need when it comes to precision ag. The Fieldstar 5 monitor controls our auto guide as well as our ISO bus and also supports a camera if we wanted to put a camera on a baler, for example. These tractors can be equipped with a Trimble or a Novatel guidance option with multiple levels of correction services. The C1000 controls all of our tractor functions, so when it comes to a controlling our electric valves or controlling a uh, transmission setting, a three-point hitch, anything of that nature, we use our C1000 to do all of that. The Fieldstar 5 monitor in the 7700S series, this is our guidance screen, our ISO bus screen. Obviously, we don't have an implement plugged in right now, but if we did, that would be displayed as well as a camera. If we had a camera plugged in, we could view that here. This is the C1000 monitor. We're able to view all of our tractor functions here. For example, I've got the hitch and the hydraulics displayed now. If I wanted to change that to say, let's pop over to the transmission, I can change that, put my transmission here and my hitch there. Here I can view how many acres I've worked how many gallons of fuel I've burned, how many gallons of fuel per acre I've burned, and all of our instant readouts that we want to see. There's many different screens in here we can view, but most of the time the most common is our hydraulics and our instant readout. Let me show you the conveniently located armrest here found in the Deluxe Tractor. The 7700S series is available in two specification levels, the Classic and the Deluxe. The Deluxe armrest features a pivoting armrest that goes with your seat. As you can see here, there's a T-lever. Also available is the multi-pad joystick. You've got cruise speed one here, our auto engine rev, our headland function, or we can simply program this to engage auto guide, our three-point hitch controls, our electric valves one and two, and our throttle control here, as well as our three-point position control. On the side here, we can adjust our cruise speed one and cruise speed two. We can also engage dynamic tractor management and we can change from foot pedal mode to T-lever mode as well here. This tractor is equipped with a third and fourth mechanical remote. You can also put electric remotes in there as optional. Then over here, we have our PTO on, off, and PTO brake. This is an automatic PTO function, so we could program that, say for example, uh, if when, whenever we raised our three-point hitch, the PTO would go off, or when we lowered our, our three-point hitch, the PTO would engage. On our B-pillar, you'll notice many different options on our touchpad here, lights, four-wheel drive, differential locks, our auto guide and speed steer, on and off. 
Uh, our key here, obviously, flashers. Here you'll notice our three-point controls. So we have our max height setting here, our rate of drop, our draft control, and also we have a soft ride system here on our three-point hitch. So if we turn this on and we're carrying a big heavy implement down the road, this will give us a little bit of cushion going down the road. Here's our PTO settings. 540, 540 Eco, 1000, 1000 Eco, and then here is where we turn all of our work lights on and off. I could go on and on about the Massey Ferguson 7700S series and the versatility of it. It can go into an array of different applications, whether it be row crop, dairy farm, loader work, anything, I could go on and on about it. But if you want to learn more about the 7700S series tractor, I encourage you to visit your local Massey Ferguson dealer or go to MasseyFerguson.us webpage.